Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Manor Lords. Today we're back in our regular playthrough. We're going to continue expanding upgrading housing to level 3 and seeing what kind of production we can get into to start some robust trade going. And then find out once and for all whether or not we're actually going to have to do any combat. My, uh, my hunch is probably no, because of uh, not seeing any raiders or opposing factions or anything so far. But since we're already here, let's just take another moment at the beginning of this episode to admire the detail in this first person cinematic view uh the tree getting cut down i guess into that house there maybe maybe don't do that if you're uh, if you're doing that at home <laughs> don't hit somebody else's house with your tree when you get that cut down but this is such a beautiful game it really it really does look fantastic like all the little details of people walking around doing different jobs shadows and everything it, it just it looks so good but we'll go ahead and come on out of cinematic mode and into our normal kind of top-down view here. You'll notice we now have this uh, joiner's shop has been upgraded to level 3. And we have these other ones we want to upgrade as well. But they unfortunately cannot upgrade yet because we don't have adequate tavern supply. And this brewery here is the one that is actually supposedly making all the ale for the tavern with the help of the malt that we were putting into the malt house, and so on and so forth. So before we get any further, uh, somebody left a comment on the last video saying, hey, you got two fields that are on the same schedule. Now, that's not necessarily a terrible thing, because we do have four fields, but I do want to make sure it's not looking too terribly bad. Right now, we're, we're pretty much locked in anyway, so there's not much we can do. But I figured we'd go ahead and check it out, see if we need to make a note to make any changes later. Right now this one's doing wheat, then fallow, then barley. Fallow, barley, then wheat. Yeah, these two... These two right here are on the same schedule, which is not what we want. And this guy is doing flax and flax. So what needs to happen is we need to have one fallow, one wheat, and one barley. So I'm actually going to go ahead and swap these. I think that's the correct um, correct order there. Yeah, barley and then wheat, then fallow. Yep, that's what we'll go with. Fortunately, they're still plowing this field, so we should be okay. And we're going to get some barley harvested. And then hopefully be able to make some more ale. We are going to keep importing stuff, but I, I'm glad we got that. That was one of those things that was kind of bugging me. So we can let them continue with what they're doing there, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. So outside of that... Uh, we currently have no open families for construction because we don't have enough uh, enough plots for new families to come into. And we're fully utilizing pretty much everybody. Because I've got four families here uh, planting. This one is fallow. Obviously, there's not going to be anything happening here. So we can leave that alone. But they're going to town over here. I guess more accurately going away from town to the fields. But you, you, know, what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. They are sowing very fast here, 63%. This field has not yet uh, done anything because it's fallow. And then this one here, of course, is still being plowed. But to have all this happening in March is good. I've been told apparently they can grow crops in the winter, which makes absolutely no sense to me. It's probably a thing. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not going to not gonna bother getting shocked or whatever when I see this happen in November. It's just going to melt my brain that you can grow crops in the winter when it's snowing, but hey, what do I know? I play video games on the internet, so we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, I want to upgrade these, but again, we can't until we have more ale. We're not going to have any ale until we have barley to turn into malt, and it's just a, uh, a whole vicious cycle. So that being said, let's take a look here at our trading post, because we've got some options. We're exporting planks, I believe. Yeah, we have a uh, the ability to get two coins for every unit of planks that we sell, which is not really that great. Right now, we're not um, we're not selling any because we don't have the required surplus. We also have the ability to import, which we haven't really been doing. But there's plenty of other stuff for us to get to as well. Uh, Food-wise, we got a lot of berries. We could be exporting them, but I don't really want to spend the money to establish a trader app. We could just eat them. Or make dyes or something. And then all these other things too. There's all sorts of stuff that we could do that we haven't done yet. We've got all these commodities. 
in military bits as well. If it turns out we actually aren't going to be able to do any combat in this playthrough at all, then we can still make a bunch of money by, for example, making bows out of planks and selling those. Uh, anything made out of iron probably is a non-starter because we don't have a rich deposit, at least not yet. And of course, uh, livestock is the other building there. But I think we're going to want to go ahead and start uh, importing some barley because we can... Let's take a look here. We got import price of 12 units currently uh, based on how we have our stuff set up for the barley itself. We have, in terms of materials, we should be able to look at malt. Yeah, malt's actually 14. So, you know what? It might actually be better to just import the malt directly. I know that's kind of skipping a part of the process, so maybe that's not... Uh, necessarily in the spirit of what it's supposed to be doing here, but uh, what's going on right now? We probably, in all honesty, want to be importing the malt so then we can free up a family from the malt house to go do something else. Or we could just build more burgage plots. That's probably what we should be doing anyway. But you know how this goes. So I think you know what? I think we're going to do that. But let's take a look at our, our stuff here. You'll notice that we have uh, nothing unlocked over here. We have this trade logistics uh, that we could possibly, if we wanted to, unlock. That would cap the cost of a new trader out at 25 regional wealth, which is a great, great thing to have. But we're only going to get so many development points in this specific province here. We have to have a different one to uh, specialize in something else. So I was thinking maybe we just don't mess with this right now. We do have the ability to do plows, and we can go ahead and uh, do fertilization, or bakeries, sheep breeding, orchardry, etc. Might be a good idea to do that in this specific province. Or, you know, we could come over here with our things off of trapping or forest management, beekeeping, etc. So maybe another one's going to be a better trade logistics thing. I don't, I don't want to use our one point on this. <laughs> We're not going to get that many anyway. But it, uh, the point being, we do have to actually import either the malt or the barley, and it's not going to be a uh, not going to be fun either way because it's going to cost us a lot of money. But we do absolutely have to have the ability to upgrade these houses to level three. So I think I think we'll just bite the bullet. If I'm going to have to pay to import something, I might as well be one step closer to everything else we got going on. So I'm going to say import malt. Desired surplus of say five, and we'll go ahead and establish the trade route. We have the we have the regional wealth to do it. We're going to be getting tax money back anyway. We can afford to do this, so we'll go ahead, and do that. Importing malt, then that can go directly to our brewery right here. Let's just make sure there's nobody. You know, yeah, we got people in the malt house not doing anything. They can go to be construction now. And that's going to be fine. Are we? Uh, we're not even sowing here yet. They're still plowing. But this one's done. And it's uh, it's going to be growing. It's at 3%. This is fallow. We already knew that. And that's fallow. We already knew that. So that's A-OK. -okay. And of course, once the sowing is all done, then we'll have those families back to do what we want as well. Now the windmill here, I'm pretty sure we don't have any... Uh, yeah, we don't have any flowers, so we don't need anybody in here. We'll take them out of that. And everything is starting to look pretty good. Except for the lack of ale. Which, again, there's not really that much we can do about it. Just kind of have to do what we have to do. Now, I don't know about other, other things we might want to get into with the industrial stuff. We have the tannery already. Uh, in the future playthroughs, yes, we're not going to put this next to the houses. But currently the smell mechanic isn't a thing. So we don't really have to worry about that. Our tannery should be taking things from our uh, our hunter's camp and, and the way of hides, and then our goat keepers as well should be generating hides. So in theory, we should... We have zero hides. We don't have any leather either, so I guess we might need to have a couple more people doing goats. Well, not like that. You know what I mean. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> the weaver's workshop, if we have wool... From our sheep, which in theory we should 
be able to get that going. We actually didn't get sheep yet, did we? No, that was that was a live stream playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Okay, getting my uh, my streams crossed a little bit here. But we could easily, easily get that going. We do have this pasture right here. If we felt so inclined, we could also build a sheep farm over here. Yeah, right here. We'll just pop this right next to the road. Can I get it a little, uh, yeah. We'll pop that right there. Sheep farm should be uh, easy enough to get going. And then our livestock trader will be able to get some sheep for us. And we'll have our oxen at three the whole time. I think that should be fine. Yeah, there we go. So there's not really that much else we can do right now, except kind of wait for some stuff to get done. The brewery obviously can't brew until they have malt. And our other goals... I haven't even clicked on the right thing yet. Um, yeah, they're going to they're gonna take their sweet time. Our other goals here... I mean, we can't do anything until we have three level three burgage plots. So go ahead and hit that turbo button. Get these guys going here and see what we're able to do. We can also do the policies. We did kind of talk about that a little bit. But just to recap, neither of these are really going to benefit us, so I, I'm just not going to mess with it. Not really uh, Not really any other point. There's All these are locked in early access anyway. Because uh, keep in mind, we do have the uh, rich berry deposit, but we don't have a rich wild animals deposit. Which is what the entire point of this is. And then we have no reason to have the citizens fast because we have plenty of food. So I'm assuming this... Must be a prerequisite for something else, but again, we can't get into any of this yet, so don't need to worry about it. Now, it says this storehouse is full. We probably need to upgrade this. I don't think we've uh, done very much of that upgrading. I know we do have this large storehouse right here. So in theory, we don't need to have multiple ones. I think they just, they just kind of put stuff wherever they want, and it's fine. I suppose. Now we got a sheep farm. Go ahead and put a family in here. And we can get wool eventually. It's gonna it's gonna be a whole thing. But we can go ahead and say import the sheep. Now it's we're not gonna have the cash for it. It's gonna be kind of expensive, but we do want to start start getting there. I'm gonna put that at one for now. And as we, uh, as we continue going, we might be able to make something happen, but it's going to take a while. Now our manor here, we don't currently have much, much going on here. We, we can adjust our taxes if we like, but it, there's not really that much of a reason to. We're just kind of going, and of course it's going to say not enough funds for import, blah, 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 because we have to make stuff we can export. And right now the joiner's shop is supposed to be making different shields. I have it paused, but we can make small shields, large shields, or wooden parts. If we want to have export of those, probably would be wise. Uh, militarily speaking, we don't really have anything right now. This is, I mean, this is surplus stuff, but if we look at the whole, yeah, it's the same. We don't have a militia, and honestly, the way this playthrough is going so far, I don't think we're going to need one. We have not had any adversaries pop up. There's no need to have any sort of military might to conquer the map. We just have to have influence. Which um, we pretty much, if we're not going to have to fight anybody, can only get by raising the level of the settlement or choosing a policy, etc. Uh, upgrading churches, manners, etc. So um, I don't think we're going to get that far. We might have to wait till our second video play through that or just say hey we're only going to do live streams and just do a new one each time and see what we can do but yeah there's at the moment not a ton of different things we can get into without uh kind of locking ourselves into a certain spot but that's fine the game's in early access all right yeah they are somehow still sewing in may i, I thought it would be faster with four families working on it but it appears not church is now fully upgraded uh, but I'm sure that's going to have more levels in the future. What we need to do now is focus on getting more families in and producing more stuff that we can export to get money. So then we can hopefully, 
hopefully get more wealth because, you know, the upgraded houses pay more in taxes and then we can get more influence, so on and so forth. You know the drill. So what we did is we made these big burgage plots here. We can put some other ones on the other side here. We can also come around the corner here. We have this manor. We have all these farms and things down here. There's not really any rule of the game that I can see that requires you place things in specific spots. You just have to have it set up in a way where people can get access to all the stuff they need. Which right now, this marketplace is looking pretty good. But some of these people don't seem like they have great access to a whole bunch of stuff. And we probably want to have another marketplace somewhere over here-ish. So they can have access to more stuff and we can put more burgage plots. So on and so forth. Just a matter of uh, getting what we need to get done, done. And as this gets more and more built up, um, our areas that we're logging from... Again, I wish the game would tell you where your circle currently is. Because it's not... Uh, not looking like uh, I'm going to know what that is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop that over there. And then we also have... Uh, where is the Woodcutter's Lodge? Yes. I'm going to just, you know, give them... Uh, similar nearby-ish spaces to log from. Clear these trees out. Let these regrow a little bit. Then just keep shifting things around. Because we're going to want to continue adding Burgage Plots. And we don't want to be in a position where we, you know, can't actually build anything. This is a nice big tree. I kind of don't want to get rid of it. So maybe we'll leave it alone. I'm just slightly concerned about uh, all of these getting access to the fuel. Well, now it looks like they have some. So maybe it's not an issue of proximity so much as it is time. I will say that we should go ahead and try to upgrade pretty much everybody to level 2. There's no downside for doing this, except it just costs resources. So why don't we, uh, why don't we just do that? And then uh, we'll get more and more tax money, so on and so forth. And the cycle repeats itself over and over and over. But now we've got, uh, got tavern supply, which means I, you know, I should have, I uh, <laughs> should have maybe done this one first. But it also requires regional wealth that we don't have. And that's something that's going to take us a little bit more time to generate because we haven't been exporting anything. And as far as I can tell, we don't even have a sheep yet because I don't think we've had the funds to buy one. Yeah, I don't see much of anything there. In terms of trade... See, I've got... I got planks. I have this set total goods stored here. We got 73. We go to extra. Huh. So why does that say I've got 64 extra? Okay, so their definition of surplus and mine, I guess, are different. Like, the numbers match. It's just the way that I thought about them might have been uh, incorrect. That's fine. But we're only getting two coins for export of planks. And I don't know if we need to have this big of a uh, reserve, actually. So I'm going to lower this to save. 40. So we can sell a whole bunch at once, maybe get an influx of cash, and then uh, upgrade at least one more of these level 2s to level 3. Because that's how we're going to get our next uh, point here, and continue to get more and more taxes, and influence, and all that fun stuff. All that being said, though, we do need to continue building Burgage Plots, so we might as well... Go ahead and maybe make a, uh, a couple of larger ones for the purposes of growing vegetables, like we have this guy right here. So maybe... Is this going to let me... Is this going to let me get away with this? I actually don't know because it's not four-sided. So it might, it might actually not let me... Uh... Aha! I just have to do that. So if I just make this one giant one... They grow vegetables. Yes, it's going to maybe get rid of that tree, but uh, in terms of foodstuffs, it's not going to show me that yet. But I think that's the right thing to do. Big plot for vegetables. Yep, tree's gone. That's fine. If I get out of the build thing, uh, food-wise, we still don't have any vegetables. We have 224 berries, which is plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. 
It's the way it goes. So what else are we looking? We should be kind of close to harvest, no? Well, it is August. Let's take these extra families out of here. Ah, see, there's some money, except it went right away because we had to, you know, buy sheep. So I kind of played myself. <laughs> That's the way this goes. Yeah. Yep, I uh I made a, I made a mistake here. Let's let's not import the sheep for right now. I know they haven't gotten it yet. But uh we're gonna have to uh Oh, why are stocks damaged by weather? That shouldn't be happening. We literally can't harvest I guess we can. Can't really do that much yet. Well that's fine. I just I need my regional wealth to go up. There's not really any good way to uh, affect that except for raising taxes, which I kind of don't want to do. Okay, this is ready to go here. I, um... Why can I not select what they're doing with this yet? Huh. Because normally these other, these other ones let me uh, pick one of these. Because now I don't have... Uh, I just have the option to expand the living space to double the family count. Why is this not letting me pick vegetables? Like, I'm not I'm not crazy, right? Like this is supposed to be here. Or does it just not show up because I don't have any funds? Yeah, this is uh hmm. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just expand this anyway. Might as well make it happen. Maybe it'll pop up with something else. Who knows? Or, if we decide, we can unlock orchardry and then I can have them grow, uh, grow trees. You know, that might actually be the right way to go. I don't know. We'll find out. Just the way it goes. We've got oxen here. We might want to get a couple more of those, but again, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have the regional wealth for it. I am going to be very curious to know how much barley we end up getting from this, because I, uh, that's wheat, fallow, oh, they've already rotated, see, this is the thing I don't understand, I know I said I wasn't going to complain about it, so I won't, but, I see October, and I don't think, I don't think plowing for the next season at all, I just wanted to know how much, um, I sure hope I got more than eight barley, that's insane. Well, they're gonna they're gonna take care of all that. There's not really not really much else we can do. I see 28 regional wealth. That means it's time to upgrade. At least this one. Like we gotta we gotta take it when we can, man. Gotta do what we gotta do. And I can expand living space for this one. What are they? Ah, that one's already been chosen to be a Fletcher shop. That's why. I thought I'd already expanded the amount of people working there or living there. Well, we'll do it again. Why not? What's the worst that can happen, right? These are all level twos. This one hasn't been specialized yet. Yeah, we don't have enough wealth to do that, but at least it gives me the option to choose. Uh, marketplace has four free stall locations, so we don't need to build another one yet. We might get there at some point soon. Yeah, it's not giving me the ability to, you know, specialize in anything here, which is very strange. But they got a goat. What's what's up with that? What's up with that? There, there's just there's just a goat walking around in here. Like, is it treating this house as pasture space or what? Like, what, what's up, dude? Oh, his name is George. Going somewhere? You're a goat. Where are you going? Where could you possibly have an appointment? Where are you going, dude? All right, now we have to see where George is going here. We're just going to stop absolutely everything else we're doing to follow George. I wish I could have the camera track him, but I guess we'll just have to manually do it. Alright, so now we're in the backyard. There's nothing going on in this backyard, mind you. So where are you, where are you going, George? Are you just going to go through the fence? Nope, you're going to turn around and then you're waiting. Why? Why are you waiting here? There's nothing for you here. It's not even assigned as anything. So you just gonna you just gonna chill. Oh, oh, are you talking to the goats over here? I bet that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, these kind of overlapped. Okay. 
Yeah, we got goat people here, goat people here. Well, not literally goat people, but you get the idea. So are you lost? Do you actually belong to these people? And now where are you going? What'd you do in your video on Friday? Oh, we uh, we watched some goats walk around. It's like, oh, that sounds thrilling. But this is actually engaging to me. I guess the ghosts just have free roam ability. They're allowed to do what they want. All right, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> what, what, what else am I gonna do, right? This is in the process of getting converted to level three. I like how this butts up against the other house. It actually feels very organic. The way that all this stuff is laid out is really nice looking. Let's see if this is gonna go any quicker or not. Another food stall. Well, that's a good sign. Does it mean we have more food? Oh, we have one vegetables. 15 eggs. Just one vegetables. All right, well, that's that's not gonna do much of anything. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna try something here. Let's let's commit to unlocking the orchardry here. And see if I can assign no, it's still not gonna let me assign anything to anybody. But I do know that it's gonna be size dependent when we do decide to assign something. Come on, let me click on this. Alright, so wow, 50 coins to make apples? Ooh, so maybe we won't maybe we won't mess with that. At least not right now. We have all sorts of other stuff to do. Uh, this storehouse definitely does need to be upgraded, so we'll go ahead and hit that. Uh, granary is granary-ing. We've got ale and berries. <laughs> nice, uh, well-rounded breakfast right there. Three remaining free stall locations. That's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and hit fast forward again. I do wish there was a little bit more depth to the manor mechanic. I understand this is very early on, but like it just seems like it seems like we should be able to do more with these two families here besides just, you know, levy additional taxes. The tithe is good for getting influence and then uh, the land tax is literally just tax, but I can only do can I type in a custom? I can. All right, let's try 15 and 15, see how that uh, that affects our income here. So our approval is still high enough to get the um, uh, the 75% two families moving in per month deal going. So the fact that we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any ability to do anything here is very strange. I'm going to actually... Uh, I'm going to actually remove this house. Oh, hold on. Well, we have to ask them to leave? They probably don't have anywhere else to go, actually. Yeah, you know what we probably need to do? Probably need to do is build, <laughs> build some more plots first. Yeah, you know, that's, um, it's on me. That's on me. I foolishly did not consider the fact that maybe they <laughs> have to have somewhere else to go. Oh, I'm a, I'm a bad person. It's it's okay. It's not, but it's it's fine. Now, if I just have one one plot here, can I get away with making this mm, yeah, it's going to require going to require more timber. All right, we're going to have to wait for that. Going to have to wait to put another one in. So I guess I guess we just kind of have to do what we're going to do here. Now, in terms of malt, we have none. We did get barley. We did get some wheat. I don't know if they go bad, but we do have the extra people right now, so let's go ahead and put somebody in the malt house to, well, make malt out of the barley so we can at least do something with that and see what else we can get accomplished here. Because until we have another 25 regional wealth... Oh, they're still, they're still building the, uh, the housing extension here. So I guess we have so much other stuff going on, it's hard to keep uh, hard to keep track of things. Yeah, we got a lot of planks. We don't have a lot of timber. Um, did they actually... See, again, I really, really wish I had the ability to see where I was uh, getting trees from. Because right now it doesn't seem like they're doing very much there. So if I pop the loggers down there... 
I'll know they will at least have access to other logs there. That should be okay. The rest of the stuff, though, is just a whole lot of waiting. Large storehouse has plenty of room, though, which is nice. Three, three stall locations. Say that one five times fast. And yet again, we've got no, um, no need for much of anything else. Oh, wh why did we spend all that money? Was that, um, was that importing? Did we spend a bunch of money on importing the malt? We shouldn't have. I don't think it's possible to spend that much. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I need to turn that off for right now. Let's let's just turn that off. Leave it alone. Then we've got... Hopefully, over the winter, enough can build up to uh, get this other house to level 3. And then we'll become a small town, and then I think after that we have to have... Is it 7 or 8 level 3s? I can't exactly remember, but I think it's I think it's something to that effect. A whole lot of hurrying up and waiting, for sure. Now, the flax growing in the winter, I don't know. I legitimately did not think it could do that. This one's fallow, this one's barley, was not, uh, was not messed with. Neither was the wheat. I have heard of winter wheat, but obviously they've elected not to do that. So now, all we do is just wait. Not much of anything else. We do have 28 wealth now, but I can't build it because... <laughs> oh, because this one doesn't have logs. So, what have I... Like, what's, what's the deal with the logging camp not logging? Should I um, just go ahead and have two more families assigned to that? Because I know we can do that. We just gotta get more, gotta get more timber so they can actually build this thing. Or is it because I've paused the build? Ah, yep, it's because I paused the building. I'm not that smart, am I? <laughs> I will say I paused the building so they stopped making bows, so they stopped using the wood. But in reality, it just paused the construction so we can do anything. Seems a little bit of a flawed strategy there. Oh man, still good though. We got our two logs. And now it's built. And now they have to have... They gotta have ale. <laughs> they gotta have ale from the Tavern Supply, and then I can upgrade. And then it's gonna give me the option again to expand living space. How many times can I... Okay, there we go. Now now I've got that going. So we'll have our three level threes. And then we're gonna, we're gonna want to uh, continue elevating everyone else as well. These are all level twos. These are all level twos. I don't think there's any real reason to keep level 1s around. So why don't we just go ahead... Because these are going to generate a bunch of wealth, too. Just upgrade whatever we can when we can. There we go. We got our new development point. We are now a small town. Yes, and it's 10 level 3 houses. Burgage plots, whatever you want to call them, to get to medium town. I don't think we can get to another 7 of those. <laughs> in this episode, but we're going to, uh, we're going to see what we can get accomplished here. I'm not going to make this drag on forever. I just want to have some sort of a, some sort of a sense of accomplishment before, <laughs> before we're done for today. But we can't take a look at the rest of our policies. So I added the upgrade for the apple orchard. And then above that, we have rye cultivation and irrigation. We also have the ability, of course, to do fertilization and bakeries from over there, or we can do advanced skinning and pelt extraction. We also have the uh, passive income of meat, which is nice. But we have the hides from the goats, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, rye? I mean, I don't think we really need to. If we take a look at our, uh, our fertility, I mean, we can grow pretty much anything. Well, barley, not so much, but we, we can grow what we need to grow. I don't think we need to worry about unlocking. So for right now, I think we'll leave that open. Now that I have the cash. See, I can't specialize this, which is very weird. I need I need these people to leave. I need them to go somewhere else. There we go. So I guess we're going to have to just try another... Uh, another time to get this... Uh, 
Urgage plot established. Because that's not letting me... For whatever reason, it doesn't like this specific orientation of, uh, of doing anything. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll just have to do... Uh... Also, why is it doing, why is it doing that? Like, it's going to treat this as a third corner and that as a fourth corner. I mean, I guess... I guess we could try that again. See if we can actually, you know, specialize in anything. I don't really know why it wasn't letting us do that before, so hopefully uh, hopefully that becomes something we can do. So I want to have somebody have an orchard. I know that takes three years to grow. Yeah, we don't have the logs, so I guess they're they're busy doing all these other upgrades on these other houses. These are all... Well, these three were supposed to be level twos, and they, now they are. All right, here we go. Now, now we got our logs. So we'll get this built up, and we'll see. Can I build anything here? The world may never know. Okay, here it is. Backyard extension for the apple orchard. Let's do that. You are now apple orchard orcharders. Whatever that means. So they're going to be kind of locked in here uh, as artisans. That's fine. Um, I don't know that we need to have the extra space quite yet. I'm more interested in getting the rest of these upgraded. So we'll pop as many of these up as we can. I think I'm now out of timber. Extra timber, at least. Which is uh, just fine there. We are actually into the next year now. Looking over at my recording, it's not uh, it's not too long for an episode yet, so I think we are going to go a little bit more. I'm just very interested to see... The, see, the flax was growing all winter. I did not think it was going to do that. That's actually pretty interesting. Are there any other ones we can upgrade to level three and it not be a uh, not be a huge deal? I think up oh, it's the wealth, it's the wealth again. But the wealth will be coming through eventually. I was kind of curious to see what the orchard looked like. Oh, here go those goats again. Goats are going somewhere. They got appointments. They got goat dates. Just walking around, free grazing people's yards. Okay, no, they did plant trees. Yeah, you can see you can see the little little sticks here in rows. There's some parts of the US, if you're driving down the highway, you can actually look to either side. You can see entire orchards where all the trees are just planted in completely straight rows. And they've been there for a long time. Like over a hundred years. Which is just amazing that people were able to make perfectly straight rows that long, planting everything by hand. Pretty cool. We're not going to see returns from this until... It's not going to tell me... Oh, okay, year six. Maybe about year ten we'll have good income from this orchard. Everything else just kind of has to keep going the way it's been going. And we still don't have enough influence to, to press a claim that has to happen at a thousand, and it's, it's going to take us a while to get there. But the more wealth comes in, uh, the more we're going to be able to do it. So, uh, we need planks... To upgrade to level 3, which we probably will not have for a little bit of time. Everything else should be looking relatively okay. So what are we growing here? We got barley and we got wheat. I do only have the one family sowing, so it's probably not going to be very quick. Let's put these other, uh, other two families in here just for a moment. Uh, come out of the malt house and... I still have somebody in the sheep farm despite no sheep, so we'll uh, we'll fix that real quick. We'll put four families in here. One can still do construction. Work area is empty. Or the logging... Okay, I didn't want to zoom out that much. Uh, yeah, okay. They are absolutely correct. Do I have the saw pit turned on? I sure do. Construction reserve... I thought I'd set... I'm going to set this to four. Just for right now, but we'll go ahead... We'll move our uh, we'll move our loggers around a little bit. That was already cut. That's gonna be fine now. I think the woodcutters. Okay, we got plenty of firewood. Woodcutters are probably fine. We already basically extracted everything out of the clay deposit. We got one left. So I have to wonder: Do we have? Okay, we got sixty-one roof tiles. That should be enough for several more of these. Uh, yeah. At least another, I don't know, 15. 
which I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what's after Medium Town because I'm pretty sure that's what my uh, my live stream one got to. So maybe there's something cool that shows up after that. I don't know. We're gonna be waiting on the um, we're waiting on the malt for sure. So let's turn. Yeah, still outputting flanks. Let's turn on um, uh, malt import. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna suck our finances dry, but we're going to uh, actually be able to have ale, which is kind of an important thing. Maybe just a little bit. I'm also wondering when the manor upgrades at all. That might actually have to do with us doing uh, more towers and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I did try, I did try to uh, upgrade my installation to the current. Uh, one that everybody else has access to, but it, it doesn't load my saves when I do that. So, for this playthrough, we're stuck on we're stuck on the content creator uh, pre-release version. But uh, the next ones will be on the same one everyone has access to, and then hopefully we'll have you know the ability to do literally anything else, like with the walls. Walls are cool, but if we don't have any combat, we don't really need to have towers. So I guess we're just gonna kind of leave this as it is. But she knows, okay, it's the first playthrough. We're learning. Trying to come across some uh, other interesting stuff. Requirements not met. Yep. Oh, now we have food stall problems. So we don't have enough vegetables. Don't have enough eggs. Don't have enough bread. And the apples should help with that. So why don't we see level two? I need more vegetable plots, but I don't have. Uh... Oh, those are looking looking pretty nice so far. We need to build some more burgage plots and people that can grow vegetables. So let's do a couple more here. See, that's what I was not doing before because I didn't have the timber for it. If we just did this and had maybe... Oh, I don't I don't want that to go that far up. If we went around to right about here. And then I had comparatively few plots, like say two right here and they all grew vegetables oh that's an interesting thought three i think two i think two would probably be about the max we could oh no look at this if that's the only bit of that that they can actually you know build in maybe we need to uh can i I don't think I can actually uh, manipulate the size of this whole thing, can I? I don't know. I'm learning. I'm learning just like you guys are. I'm not going to pretend to know everything. Cause that's kind of counterproductive attitude in life anyway. Well. I'm just going to go ahead and have that set up like so. That's a nice big spot right there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And then just move this down to one. These guys will be our vegetable vegetable dudes. Yeah, so we'll get we'll get these built and then see where we stand in terms of harvest things. Crops it says we don't have any, I guess it either went bad or we used it. I honestly couldn't tell you. Because we haven't had bread show up. But we've got food. I wonder why this one's going so much faster than that one is when I placed this one first. Kinda strange. But it is what it is. Now, hopefully they finished sowing here. Nope, they sure have not. Well, it's almost. Almost. This one's done. Looks like we're going to have a nice flax harvest, which is good. As soon as this is at 9,900. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll take that back down to one. Uh, the malt house... There's nothing there. We don't need it until that's the whole thing. Alright. Now. Now it's time. You will be vegetable farmers. Except now I don't have the wealth. Oh, come on. Hey, you. No, slacking off. no slacking off. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I don't, I don't have the wealth to force these people to grow vegetables, apparently. It's fine. It is what it is. Which means I also don't have the wealth to force these to upgrade to level 3, but uh, I got planks, at least. But we still don't have a tavern supply and equitable food supply to everybody yet, so... It's the way it goes. 
Win some, lose some. Don't have any regional wealth. It's fine. Because <laughs> I thought our tax policy was set up where we could, uh, you know, actually have some sort of benefit from this. We need to sell. We need to sell stuff. What can I sell? Besides berries. Although, honestly, we have the rich berry deposit. We probably should be selling berries. We take a look at our... That's not crops, it's food. Yeah, 54 trade route. I don't think that's happening. So maybe... Maybe we do have to uh, sell some more planks. We just don't have enough planks. Because we've been using them, which, you know, is kind of the whole point. We sure have a lot of timber, though. I'll tell you what. Should I put another family in the saw pit? I guess I should. We have the means to do it. Finally, I can force these people to grow vegetables. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I only have 13 instead of 15. Well, we'll get through it. We just gotta make some cash, man. I also should probably look up what we do with flax in the first place. I think it has something to do with different types of thread. And we could... If I even have one of these that's doing tailoring, I don't think I do. We have a cobbler's shop. This one's not... Oh, that's chickens. That's goats. That's chickens. Tailor's workshop makes um, clothes, cloaks, and gambesons. I don't know... It doesn't say from what, though. I feel like I should have already had one of those. Burgers plot, burgers plot, burgers plot, burgers plot. Say that one five times fast again. These haven't been specialized, have they? I mean, beyond the goats and the goats and the chickens and the chickens and the chickens. Maybe that's why we have so much... Oh, we don't have that many eggs. And I still don't have enough to force these guys to grow vegetables. That's too bad. You just kind of got to do what you got to do. But I guess if we're going to make something, they actually, they got a decent sized yard for growing, uh, growing vegetables, I guess. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do a tailor's workshop. We're going to need one of those anyway. It's fine. Barley field is... 37% growth. See, we're just not getting enough yield out of it. We probably probably need to have more fields, but I don't have enough people yet. Alright, Taylor's Workshop. You can make from linen and dyes. Okay, so it's not, not a flax deal. I don't want to make... Uh, well, I can't make any linens. Can't make any yarns, can't make any dyes. I think we'll just... Um, well, if they can't make anything, it doesn't matter. But uh, this is stuff we can sell once we actually have some sheep. We just have to have funds to get the sheep. You know the deal. Orchard is orcharding. Still don't have any money. <laughs> Still don't have any money to get these people to grow vegetables. But uh, that's the way she goes. We're not going to get any more level 3 houses this time, it seems. So I guess... Barring, barring much else to do, there's not really... Uh, not really any reason to keep this specific episode going any longer. I guess we'd go ahead and end this here. I just... I wish I would have the ability to get one of these regions faster. Like, I know without the combat, then that's... That's a huge, huge uh, obstacle to obtaining influence. But hey, it is what it is. We're learning the game with this one. And we will manage to have fun in this in future series. Like, look at the uh, look at the trees here. They're starting to come in with some fruits, even though we're not going to get any for the f uh, first two and a half years, I guess. That's looking pretty nice. Be nice scenery outside the church. And at some point, these will grow vegetables too. We'll get there. But we've uh, we got our work cut out for us. We've got some stuff to take care of. Got some harvest to make in the uh, the coming months. And we'll figure out exactly what we can get ourselves into. But yeah, that's, I think, where we're going to leave it for this one. Not really too much else we can do in real time without just uh, sitting here for a couple years, so... We'll go ahead and pick this back up next week. As always, appreciate your comments, input, uh, helpful tips, etc. We are going to do more live streams of this at some point. Don't know exactly when. Uh, but the last ones were kind of fun with the combat and stuff, so hopefully uh, we can get those going soon again. And, of course, you're welcome and encouraged to always join us for those. But 
Outside of that, that's all I got. Thanks, Beard Boosters, again, for all of your fantastic support. Really appreciate you guys and the ability uh, that you give me to keep doing these videos and try new things, take some risks that aren't beavers, and see if those games are any fun. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of beavers, uh, we started a new series in the Water Beavers this week. Uh, go check that video out if you haven't. And we just wrapped up our Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough yesterday as of the release of this video. We're going to have another Timberborn series start soon-ish. Not entirely sure what that's going to be yet, but uh, it'll be here before we know it. That's all I got for today. Whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your... I guess it's Friday, technically, when this video comes out. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.